here we are watching a video on the type of vegetation found in taiga regions of the world and here we can see that the regions are dominated by coniferous forest well another name for coniferous forest is boreal forest now the word boreal refers to northern well this type of vegetation is called so because we know that taiga vegetation or coniferous forest are only found in the northern part of the world and therefore this type of vegetations are also known as boreal forest now why do you think this type of vegetation is found in taiga region well taiga regions are rich in coniferous forest because this biome experiences sub arctic or siberian type of climate by sub arctic or siberian type of climate i mean that it has cold long winters and short summers now we also know that these regions have low temperatures round the year and it experiences rainfall for almost all the months of the year now this type of climatic conditions favor the growth of conifers in taiga regions but what do we mean by conifers well conifers are trees that have conical shape and also these trees bear cones and have needle like leaves in this picture we can see that the conifers are bearing cones and they have needle like leaves so this is how conifers look like now these conifers have adapted themselves to the sub arctic type of climate existing in taiga regions let us see how well the first adaptive feature of conifers is that they are evergreen trees well evergreen trees as we know do not have any specific season for shedding leaves that is these trees do not shed their leaves all at once now because conifers are evergreen trees which means that they do not shed all their leaves at once therefore these trees do not waste their valuable time in growing new leaves instead they grow in height during favorable season that is spring now you must be surprised as in how evergreen trees grow in such harsh climatic conditions well although the mean temperature of taiga region is very low but it experiences rainfall throughout the year and this rainfall is sufficient enough to support the growth of evergreen trees and also during summer when the temperature rises the water bodies present in taiga regions melt and make the soil marshy and moist this further supports the growth of evergreen trees so because of these reasons we can find that taiga regions are rich in evergreen coniferous trees well if you remember i mentioned that conifers have scale like or needle like leaves and these needles also have waxy coating which is known as cuticle now these needles are very strong and they can survive the gusty polar winds that blow in these regions and they do not wither away so this is how the conifers have adapted themselves to the climatic conditions of taiga regions by producing needle like leaves now you must have noticed that houses in cold countries have slanting or sloping roofs this is because in these places snowfall is a common phenomena so during heavy precipitation the snow slides down or glides down these slopes so therefore these slanting roofs of the houses prevents them from being damaged by snowfall thus as a result we can find that houses in cold countries have slanting roofs instead of flat roofs 
for the similar reason conifers have conical shape well this shape enables the snow to slide down or glide down the body of the tree and do not allow them to pile up on the top branches of the tree thus the conical shape of conifers secures them from being damaged during snowfall now before we proceed with our lesson let me see whether you can choose the correct statement you have to identify which of the following statements are correct is it the conifers have thorns instead of leaves the conifers have conical shape the conifers have breathing roots the conifers form huge canopies well which of them do you think is the correct one well the correct statement is conifers have conical shape well if you walk through the conifers forest you will find that there is no significant undergrowth this is because due to low temperature the ground remains frozen for most part of the year this causes the soil to become infertile as a result it is devoid of any vegetation so the conifers forest floor has no significant undergrowth we just read that taiga regions are dominated by conifers forest now these conifers forest contain many valuable softwood trees by softwood trees i mean that they are less dense and less compact than hardwood trees and therefore they can be easily attacked and cut down by cutting tools so the softwood trees are less expensive than the hardwood trees and therefore the coniferous forests that are rich in softwood trees are commercially very important now some of the softwood trees that are found in these regions are pine fir larch and douglas so till now we have discussed about the vegetation of taiga regions we discussed that this biome is rich in coniferous forests that contain many valuable softwood trees we shall now discuss about the lifestyle of human beings living in this part of the world well taiga regions are intensely covered with coniferous trees this makes transportation very difficult and also this biome has unfavorable climatic conditions that is very long and cold winters and short summer so because of inaccessibility of large areas inadequate means of communication and unfavorable climatic conditions taiga regions are sparsely populated well to understand this let us compare these two maps the first map shows the taiga regions of the world and the second map shows the world population density in this map the indicator shows that as the color becomes darker the population density increases so the regions of the world like the western part of usa india southeastern part of china some european countries have high population density because these regions as we can see are marked in darker shades whereas the northern parts of north america europe and asia where taiga regions exist are marked in lighter shades it implies that taiga regions have low population density and thus we can say that taiga regions are sparsely populated because it has unfavorable climatic conditions and are densely covered with coniferous forest now since this biome experiences sub arctic type of climate that is it has low temperature around the year so the ground remains frozen for most part of the year as a result farming and agriculture are not important occupations of the people living in this region now if the people does not practice farming then how do they earn their living now just a while ago i mentioned that coniferous forests that are found in taiga regions are rich in softwood trees well these coniferous forests also occur in pure stands as a result the softwood trees can be easily identified and timber can be extracted from them
Also, the coniferous forest floor, as we know, has no significant undergrowth. As a result, transportation of wood becomes easier. So, based on these factors, the lumbering industry is quite popular in the taiga regions of the world. And it is mainly popular in the taiga regions of Canada. So, this brings us to the end of today's discussion on taiga regions. Well, here we have the summary chart on taiga regions. In our previous lesson, if you remember, we discussed about the location and climatic conditions of this biome. We know that this region is only located in the northern hemisphere between 55 to 70 degrees north. Especially, this biome encompasses the Arctic Circle. As a result, this region experiences subarctic or Siberian type of climate that is characterized by long winters and short summers. In today's lesson, we discussed about the vegetation and human adaptations of this biome. We learned that evergreen coniferous forests are found here that are rich in valuable softwood trees. We also discussed that due to unfavorable climatic conditions and inaccessibility of large areas, these regions are sparsely populated. And since valuable softwood trees grow in coniferous forests, therefore lumbering industry is quite popular in this part of the world. So this is all about taiga regions. In our next video, we will discuss about another biome that is tundra region. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to learn one to one with our amazing teachers or to get access to our 5000 amazing videos as per your school syllabus. Master each topic with our adaptive practice technology. Get million plus questions with step by step solutions and unlimited mock tests. Get all your doubt resolved instantly. Learn via games and win amazing prizes like playstations and ipads. So at Delta Step, learning is not just fun and easy but it's rewarding too. So register for free now.